Just use time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always right to do what's right. I like Chef Lance because he makes me laugh. <laughs> it's the jokes for me. I gotta say hello to all my deja vu. His events are a display of flavor. His recipes are super simple, super easy, and super delicious. With full restaurant reviews, Deja Food and Decor TV is everything food. Subscribe today on YouTube and hit the notification bell to see when new videos are loaded. I never miss Nibble and News because he always got the tea. So what are you waiting for? You're just one click away. Hit the subscribe button because yes, we're back. Deja Food is the 4 TV. Hey Deja Foodies, welcome back and special subscriber recognition to Apollo Williams for your recent comments on my video and welcome to Nene, one of our new Deja Foodies. Hey, welcome to all my new Deja Foodies. So Deja Foodies, you all know I love to entertain and I had some people over to the new Deja Food and Decor studio spot. Real quick, I have to talk about the food. I featured one of my appetizer trays full with chicken salad, olives, colored deviled eggs, multiple cheeses and deli meats, chocolate covered pretzels, grapes, and cocktail shrimp. So when my guests arrived, we fired up the hookah and the night began. We are having <laughs> Closest with the most is he together. You know, the display is awesome, amazing. The food is exquisite. Hey, Deja Foodies! Hi, Deja Foodies! My guests had an outstanding time, but they wanted to know how did I create my backdrop for the TV in the studio? Deja Foodies, here's my version of a DIY for creating a wonderful backdrop for your television. This can be done with any piece of canvas. This is also a great idea for people who are renting and can't do a lot of home decor because of restrictions. You can use old canvases that you've had in the past and turn them into a wonderful backdrop. Giving you a splash of customized design all while causing minimal stress to the wall and not having to add any additional paint. Like I said, feel free to use any old pieces of canvases that complement the room, but for my particular project, I wanted to create a canvas, so I went to Hobby Lobby and got the Master's Touch Grander's Collection Blank Canvas. Now you can always catch great deals on these like this deal, where this particular larger size canvas is a $99 piece of canvas, but it's actually 50% off. Oh my God. Mm -hmm, that's right. So I'm gonna tell you guys real quickly how I personalize my canvas. I actually taped my canvas up. Um, you can kind of be creative. This is where you get to play around if you are gonna personalize your canvas. Keep in mind, you are only working with the border. So I'm gonna keep it really simple and I'm gonna actually just tape up the border areas of my canvas and then I'm going to spray paint the canvas the color that I want to display around the framing of my TV and then I'm going to remove that tape and we all know that if you apply tape to any surface and then you spray paint over it it's going to eliminate the spray paint from actually hitting the contact surface of the area it is adhesed to so when you pull it up you have a beautiful sharply designed painted border just to add a splash of color or a splash of multiple colors to your backdrop and your signature solid colored wall. It's time for us to actually cut the hole inside our canvas and with most of these canvases when they're a large piece of canvas you will need to remove that middle plank. I'm just taking a hammer and I'm removing that middle board to free up the open space in the center of my canvas. 
Then you want to place your mount in the center of your canvas. You want to make sure that you do measure to make sure that you are perfectly centering your mount in the direction that you want to hang it behind your television. Once you've actually done that, I'm just taking a black Sharpie and I'm going to trace that um, mount so that I have a good outline in which I'm going to cut out. I'm then going to just take a straight edge razor so that I have a precise cut and I'm going to cut that centerpiece out. This is what's going to lay over the mount on the backdrop when you actually place your TV onto the mount that is attached to your wall. In this video, I'm not actually going to go over the instructions of actually installing a mount for your television. That is not my job. At all. But once you have installed your mount, you are just going to sit your canvas in which you cut that area out onto the mount. Now, I'm actually feeding my cord for my TV through the hole prior to placing it. But once you've actually placed that, feeding your TV cord first through the hole of the canvas, you're gonna place your TV snugly onto the mount and make sure that it is centered against your backdrop of your canvas. Add some accent color to the wall. I took two old matching picture frames, discarded the pictures, and just spray painted the frames a green accent color, which complemented the decor in the studio. I'm sure you all are all familiar with these great devices right here, which help streamline and hide your cords. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that from underneath my canvas. You can take the time to actually make sure this blends into your wall if you're not adding any additional accents to the wall. But in my case, I'm gonna cover this with some pillows that I'm gonna put on a little bench that I bought to go right in front of my television. And there you have it. You yourself can turn any plain wall into a beautiful statement, adding some colorful canvas behind your mounted television. Listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't yet, this is a great time to go back and watch my new recipe video for my sweet potato cheesecake. Guys, have a delicious day, and I will see you next video.